Welcome to my thoughts on X-Men Season 2, Episodes 1 and 2, uh, Till Death Do Us Part, Part 1 and 2. And if you are only interested, right, spoilers for all these episodes, and I'm talking about the animated series that started in 1992. If you, for whatever reason, only want to hear what I have to say about the second episode, the link, or not link, the time code will be in the description box. So let us dive right in. So, yeah, um, we open on Wolverine fighting Cyclops, which, you know, we soon realize what he, you know, what is actually going on. You know, and it, yeah, it's intercut with the apparent wedding, but we do later realize, you know, that was that was morph, so they're not actually legally married. And yeah, Wolverine is in the danger room fighting, you know, and he said it to to that he wanted to fight Cyclops, and that's his way of working out the, you know, that he. He wants to be the one to be with, with Jean. And Morph is back, which is very cool. And really, I'm not going to spend forever talking about... The Nostalgia Critic apparently didn't realize when he did his video talking about... You know, he based, I think he only really talked about the first two episodes of Season 1. But he did say that Morph... Just, you know, he made it sound like Morph never returned, and it just, it kind of goes to show, dude, really, maybe he's better these days. It's been a long time since I watched, and I don't see that changing anytime soon. He really did not used to do very much research at all. Like, just open Wikipedia, check, you know. And he also said, and the following is why I really bring it up, because, you know, that doesn't matter that much to me, that he got wrong, that Morph disappeared. But he said that nobody likes Morph, and that's just 100% incorrect. Like, Morph was actually so popular that he was brought back, even though, like, clearly he, you know, yeah, clearly he died, and, and it really is, like, I guess, I guess the idea is supposed to be that once Sinister got him away, he could, like, make it seem to Gene that Morph was dead, but it's pretty, you know, it's it's fan service. People wanting him back, he's he's back, and he's you know he get he's back for the first two episodes of the season after the, you know, if I understand correctly, they basically season one was pretty much all like produced by the time they started getting real much of you know response, so they couldn't have brought him back in season one. I, I could be wrong. I don't know that much about uh, production of animated weekly shows. Now, let's see. Yeah, and you know, at the at the wedding, Rogue is like, "Jubilee, you're too young to catch bouquets." What you think, Matt Walsh wrote this episode? And yeah, we meet the friends of humanity who stage mutant attacks. And, you know, that, yeah, in real life, you know, various fascists will make it appear that the minority they hate is actually much more dangerous. Let's see. And, you know, yeah, Morph believes that he was left to die, like Wolverine also thought was the situation. And, yeah, you know, the Friends of Humanity, they're, they're basically Proud Boys, you know, the, the, the gang. They're, they're, yeah, they, they go to places that they know will have the group they hate, and they start violence for no good, you know, just because they hate them, not in response to someone else's violence, which is, of course, the only, you know, violence should only ever be used in response to violence and to protect from violence and such. And, you know, I appreciate, like, the, the armband is practically a swastika and it even has the it has the the bird that yeah I'm not 100% is it a bald eagle well, certainly it it looks like 
you know, that wasn't the, the swastika, but the Nazi, the Nazis did use this really proud looking bird also. So, yeah. And, and yeah, you know, <laughs> it's kind of silly when, like, Jubilee basically says, Professor, explain this to me. <laughs> He's like, I got a little too meta, you know. Yeah, that's, that's a big part of the reason that Xavier is on the show, is to explain to the kids. But, but, but yeah, you know. You know, he points out the, the followers feel betrayed, and this has happened, you know, there, there are people who have abandoned Donald Trump, but still, you know, they just, they go further in that direction. Let's see, and, and more recently, you know, Ben Shapiro, there's a, you know, apparently now some people who used to believe in him think that he's controlled opposition, and... You know, he he's he made his bed, now he's lying in it. I really don't feel bad that he is no longer getting the, the adulation of people that he encouraged to believe these in just completely extreme things. And now he's not extreme enough for them. Let's see, and and you know the professor also has a great line or two about you know people with problems that are frustrated will find a scapegoat for their their problems. Just yeah, perfectly put. And let's see, yeah, and we see that <clears throat> you know Mag yes Magneto. You know, to, to lure, Morph wanted to lure Xavier away, so he posed as Magneto and did a, you know, video message to get. And, and you know, I do quite, ah, right, that, right, that's that's coming up. Anyway, um, but the, it's, yeah, I'll just briefly say, you know, I sense something sinister. You know, that was great, yeah. And Beast was filmed holding a gun and they use that to make it seem like he's violent and this is i i ah, i i have to i have to admit i don't remember the exact uh date but there was this thing i guess by now it's at least a year or more ago but there was this thing where some fascists started a fight with antifa if I recall, it's it's something like that, and the you know there's this picture that Andy No was spreading that's oh look Antifa with a hammer, and Cody Johnston from of some more news previously cracked, you know OG cracked, he he posted a picture that clearly showed no no it was it was the fascists who brought the hammer, an anti-fascist grabbed the hammer to de-escalate the situation to prevent it from being used. And someone grabbed a, a photo of that and said, look, look, they brought the hammer, you know, so, yeah. Let's see, so it's it's commentary that's still very relevant today. Let's see, and yeah, so Xavier has left, and, you know, his face is on the, the you know, he appears as as a hologram to the, to the rest of them, and he's like, you know, while I'm gone, Storm's in charge. Okay, Zordon. Even Wolverine's Jeep sounds angry. <laughs> you said it, not me. And, yeah, so Morph sneaks in and, you know, lures Gambit into the, the rec room, posing as um, Rogue. And, yes, as a straight white cis man can confirm... We are that gullible. We, we, it's, you know, if if someone who who's usually like, no, no, it's dangerous if we touch, suddenly said, oh, I've been lying this whole time. We we can touch, and it's you know, oh, sure thing, you know, not all of us would kiss a woman who was not conscious. I want to make that clear, but yeah, pretty universally, we'd we'd be that gullible. Let's see. And, and you know, Morph is one as well, so he knows firsthand. Let's see. And Storm sends Jubilee to be attacked by the Friends of Humanity. I, I, it's really great 
These are these are some excellent season openers. I forget if they keep being this freaking good. Like two seasons, just complete bangers. You know, really excellent use of divide and conquer here. Morph knows that the X Men are strong together. You know, which is also true of a lot of minority. You know, found families extremely important. You know, find some. You know, it's not always the members of the same minority, but find someone who has empathy for minorities. You know, to to, you know, and you can rely on each other. You know, and and yeah, if if the, let's see, yeah, you know, Morph knows that this is the way to to weaken them. And uh, let's see. Yeah, and and um, and we have. Yeah, you know, Beast Morph poses as Beast, saying, "Oh, I'm on my way." You know, and it turns out it was just, you know, what'd you say, Marge? You know, Beast is actually in the danger room, and he just wants, to, you know, mild workout. And, you know, we get great visual, just this thing, of you know, goes from minimum to maximum. The, the you know, if you can, try to work a, a dial to that's turned into your fiction. It's, it's always just, it works, you know, because... Yeah, the seven-year-olds watching, they understand, you know, we even even as a kid, you've probably seen a thing that, that's like that, you know, and yeah, you know, he's fighting again, and, and the door is locked. He's fighting against this really intense, and at one point he like runs on a saw blade. We'll say that was a little Looney Tunes for my taste, but other than that, it was a really cool scene. Yeah, I really appreciate like in this in these in this two-parter, <clears throat> Morph is using and and like he did in the in his very brief part in in the first season, Morph uses the ability to shapeshift as well as like the T one thousand and T two or Mystique in X Men one and two. Let's see. Love seeing Sinister's throne. Man, I wish I had the confidence for something like that. Just, you know, someone comes into you. So, hey, oh, wow. You know, just very, very intense, very intimidating. And the and the cape. Man, I wish I could pull that thing off. That was... Pull it off him, put it on me. And, yeah, and he says, you know, I are you enjoying your revenge, Morph? I know I am, and you know it's like, what is he getting revenge for? We have to watch on to find out. And that brings us to the second episode, "Till Death Do Us Part," part two. And let's see. message for you, and Rogue and Beast. Uh, you know, Rogue is very unhappy with Beast, which. You can understand, yo, and, and like she says, I was right there. I saw you respond. It's just, yeah, and I really appreciated. You know, Jubilee is like you know the the I forget exactly how, but one of the friends of humanity, maybe it's the leader guy, says, you know, we're normal, and Jubilee is like, you call this normal, <laughs> which very much like um. Who there was a there was a YouTuber recently. What was her? Ah, I'm a I'm a big fan, but I can never remember the name of ah crap. Let's see. Um, yeah, drawing a complete blank here. Um. I'll, if I if I remember, I'll try to put it in the. I'll I'll put in the. Um, I'll yeah I'll I'll um I'll put in the, in the description box as the, but but yeah, um. But yeah um. 
I can't I can't remember if how how they I'm I'm going with they, which I understand to be neutral. I really don't want to accidentally misgender them. But but the the YouTuber in question, they said, you know, oh, you know, you 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 know, yeah, some of the idiots who think that cis is a slur say, oh, you know, it should just be called normal, and the, the YouTuber pointed out, you know, for, for one thing, that doesn't, you know, some of y'all don't act normal. And, and yeah, that's, yeah. Let's see. And, and you know, Jubilee says, what, uh, um, what did we ever do to you? And the, re the very honest response is, you were born. You know, that really is it. Like, there's nothing that... Because that is, you know, if you... When you when you look at the actions and, and statements of racists, misogynists, xenophobes of all kinds, transphobes, you know, Islamophobes, if you just look at, like, at the end of the day, there's nothing that the people they hate can do to prove that they, that they aren't actually whatever the, the phobes think they are. Let's see. And, yeah, Gambit is back and, you know, just as Morph as Xavier is trying to, you know, he's like, oh, there's a, there's a ray that, you know, affects your brain, which Fair enough. I mean, you know, we we can figure out that's got to be morph, but in the X Men universe, that is the kind of thing that exists. So yeah, and you know, Wolverine is able to smell morph on Xavier, and I will say was somewhat bad taste to have. You know, we know that Xavier can't walk. So to have morph, you know, walk and then say, "Oh, I'm cured," you know, that was uh, don't don't do that. Uh, but the, um, you know, the thing with you know, morph pushes it a little too far. Right before that, when he, you know, he's like, "Oh, Wolverine is is it's affected by the mind ray," you know, which okay, that's, uh, yeah, Wolverine, you're kind of looking irrational right now. But then he says, "Destroy him." And Gambit says, I've never heard the professor say that. You know, so that's... Let's see. And, yeah, Wolverine managed to cut off Morph by the by the X-Jet, and they fight. And we have the classic, you know, who do I shoot? They just, yeah. And I do appreciate, you know, Morph knew Wolverine would say, would, in that situation, you know, he, he beats him to it saying, you know, you have to shoot us both. And, you know, the thing is, like, if you, if you tell someone, you know, shoot me and the, this other person, then you are you know that the person is going to shoot, so you duck, and the, the, you know. And it also helps that, you know, the, the energy beams move just slow enough that you can't, you know, you can't duck a bullet in real life. Let's see. And, and Sinister explains, you know, that he's going to use the, the genetic material as the foundation for new mutants, and and you know make a, a bunch of slaves and it's it's again this thing of you know Xavier, you know Sinister and Xavier both very powerful mutants. Xavier, the good guy, seeks to protect them and make human beings not fear them. Sinister is fine with using the friends of humanity. He just wants slaves. You know he sees power and he wants more of it. You know he doesn't want it protected. Let's see, you know, protected from those who, who don't, who can't see that some of the people with that power is in are innocent. Let's see, and uh, yeah, we get some some more backstory about um, Morph and Sinister, and you know, basically, Morph has dissociative identity disorder, which. Is a thing in comic books. There's a lot of comic books where someone who is good gets like an evil alter, and vice versa. A, an evil character gets a good 
alter. So, yeah. And I again, I hate to say it, but Hairbag's voice is kind of racist. They push it very far, and you know, your average white American kid is gonna think it sounds silly. You know, not cool. Let's see. But but yeah, you know, as usual, great action. The the different powers play well off each other. And I appreciate it. Sinister is really, really powerful, which I remember him also being in the in the comic. Like it takes a lot to to wound him, but Cyclops manages, and I appreciate, you know, Cyclops you know, it's because, you know, you, you came after my friends. That's that's why he is so you know, he keeps shooting Sinister, like, not just, like, once, and then, yeah, you, you better run. No, he, he shoots him over and over. We're still married in our hearts. Yeah, that's not going to hold up in court. And, yeah, so the end of the episode, Xavier and Magneto were lured into a trap, and yet again we end on a really cool cliffhanger, so just, yeah. Um... I'm really glad that I'm watching the next episode tomorrow, not a week from now. Yeah, that's that's everything. Really glad that Sinister is still in play. Like, obviously, he's going to need to lick his wounds. He's, you know, but very strong introduction for him. He, you know, shows how formidable he is. And the, the stuff about, you know, DNA manipulation and such, that is accurate to the comic version I, you know, just briefly, obviously it's not going to be in the Fox X-Men universe since that's over now, but I do think that Sinister could work in live-action movies as well, so, you know, hopefully in the MCU. I think they would, it might be useful to only call him Sinister, not Mr. Sinister, because I think at that point it's, I love it. But it's probably too comic booky for a lot of, you know, just your your average moviegoer, you know. But just call him Sinister. That works. You know, that's a, enough of... And you should probably have pupils. Maybe the eyes shouldn't be red. Maybe the face shouldn't be completely white. But, you know, you can, you can work something out as a... You know, the MCU has been doing a good job so far. But yeah, that's it. So... Make my marble.